So, no, it's, yeah, I think it's supposed to be eight on that day. Because we're going to do a mock exam that day. Oh, eight of the good old days. I know, we're supposed to do five of them. Five? Yes. Listen, the more that you take no, I them, know it is better, but it the more like, you take them, the better it is. But it takes like three or two hours. Takes four time. hours. Probably maybe one. I, I know. You're telling me because I have to grade these. So, all right, let's go through this. So, hello. 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 Shalom. Hello. All right. We're back. We already talked about this once where I showed you guys how to do the same thing, but now we're going to do it in terms of why? Because I said. <laughs> so, use this method, find the volume solid revolution generated by revolving the region about the graph here, the y axis, and y equals 1. So, again, start with sketching, because sketching helps. Sketching always helps. Help? Always. Oh, oh, this method? Always. What is your this method? It helps. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this. So this is going to go, so I'm going to graph. Oh, she's dipping the dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bye. 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 So it's going to be from 1 to 8. So it's starting here at 1, and it's going to 8. So it's enclosing this. So it's from here. So it is enclosed. So that means that I'm going to have a this is my x equals y of, or f of x, right? Or f of y, I'm sorry. f of y. So my function in terms of y. So because of this right here, I'm going to have this, then it's going to rotate this way. And it would be something like this. But I'm only going to be dealing with this part here because it starts at 1 and it goes to 8. So let's do the bounds. So same thing happens. Integral. What goes in front of that integral? Say pi. And it's 1 to 8. Now, if this is supposed to be a dy, what is my function going to be? Um, the third row of y. So it's going to be the third root of y, of y squared, squared dy. dy. Yes, you would, because you would actually have, um, you would you would be trying to account for the, you're saying from here, yeah. because it would be this, and then as we're rotating it, I would get a, another circle over here, and then I would have to deal with that. But over here, because the y values are negative here, right, so it's negatives, and over here, okay, I need to, I'll rotate that there, like that. Okay, do you, do you remember the formula to it find a cone? Yeah. I know he wasn't. That's why I'm going back to it. <laughs> or not a cone, a volume of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder, right here. It's pi r squared h. Where pi, I just factor it out. That's my numerical constant, right? And then, then I have r squared, which is going to be r is from my x-axis to my function. And then my height is my integral from A to B. So that's where I get my height from. And the same thing works out here. So I did the same thing. So I have my pi, and from C to D, right here, C to D, F of Y. So I need in terms of Y, DY. Oh. All right, where am I at? Right over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the... Uh, integration of this so it's going to be pi right bracket now remember this 
I could rewrite that using a fractional exponent. So 2 is the power, 3 is the root. Yes? So that's y to the, yes, 2 over 3, right? So if it's y to the 2 over 3, I need to add 1, right? And my 1 is going to be 3 over 3 in this case. So I'm going to get y to the 5 thirds times 3 over 5, right? From 1 to 8. Okay, so let's go ahead and do my math. So it's going to be pi bracket. All right, so uh, okay, so I'm going to show you guys a neat trick with this. So the bottom number is the root. So try to do the root first all the time. So what is the cube root of 8? 2. two. Now 2 to the fifth power. 32. Okay. Yep. It's going to be 32 times 3. Ninety-six over five <coughs> minus right. So it's minus. So now let's plug it in. So it's just going to be y two. So that's one. So minus three over five. <coughs> now from there. Yep. This is volume, so what would my units be? Units cubed. Units cubed. I didn't do that on the previous one, but uh, I, I usually start adding it in more and more when we're talking about like actual measurements. So when we start getting like real life type problems in it, you, you have to state whatever my units are for that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so there is a pretty graph of my function. Purdy. Sure is purdy. No, we are. Uh, uh, listen, all this graph is, that's what we're doing. So watch this. We're not doing it all today. So now, if this is hollow, if this is hollow, I would have the volume of the big one, right? And what would I do? Yeah, so it's my donut hole. So, a donut hole is just taken out of the middle, right? Mm -hmm. That's basically the same thing. This is, I had a circle, I take out the donut hole, and I'm left with the donut. That's all we're trying to get here. Okay. All right, so basically, it's going to be the outer radius minus the inner radius. So, it's the volume of the inside, or the outside, the big one minus the volume of the inside. So, same thing. Oh, so it's just like tiny the bounded area. That yep. Bounded volume in. <laughs> All right, so find the volume of solid revolution generated by revolving the region bounded by the graphs of y equals 2 over x and y equals 3 minus x about the x-axis. Now, if it's about the x-axis, that means I'm going to have a dx. Start off with my sketch. So, and I said these are bounded, right? So, it doesn't exist at zero, does it? No. So, if it's bounded, that means I need to know which one, where they're going to be equal, right? So, let's set those equal. So, 2 over x equals 3 minus x. Multiply everything by x, so I get 2 equals 3 x minus x squared. 0 equals negative uh, 2 plus 3 x minus x squared. Take out a negative 1, so I should get x squared minus 3x plus 2. And it does factor. X 
I did. It's right here. I, it's out front. It's going to go away right now anyway because... Yeah, multiplies by, by negative 1, so the 0 times negative is still... Okay. So now I'm just factoring it, so it's going to be... Uh, what's that going to be? Minus 2 x minus 1. All right, so that's good. So I know I'm going to start at negative 2. Or, I'm sorry, x equals 2. And x equals 1. So it's bounded at 1 and 2. So I'm not starting at 0. I'm starting at 1. So from here, it's 1, and here is 2. All right, so let's see what uh, this is going to look like. So at 1, I get 2. So And at 2, I get 1. OK. And then? Like that, basically. And my other one, so at 1, this is 2. OK, this is 2. And then the next one is going to be at 2 is also going to be 1 right here. So how's this one going to look? Straight down, right? So it's a little sliver in between those. Okay, so I got to see which one's going to be on top now, right? So I got to see which one on top to see which one is going to go in top of my function. Okay, so let's plug in a number. Let's plug in one half. Or I'm sorry, one and a half, which is three halves. Plug in three halves. If I plug in three halves here, <coughs> which is four over three, plug in uh, three over two, and I get. I think that is over. So we get three over two again, right? <laughs> so which one is more? One and a half or one point three? So this one should be on top, right? This one's on top. So I have to re readjust my graph so I can actually have. <laughs> oh man. Ah, come on. There's an arrow bag. I can't. No, on the right. Look. Look. Looky. I I look, I have to I have the wheel of death there. I know. I already already asked for one, but they said no. Uh, okay, so. I know they they. Hey, but but the problem is Moldova don't have walls to even put it on. So yeah. So sad. So you could put it on your tent. We have protectors in every class. No. Protectors and and the screens too. Where you where you can write. See, that's what they do with all that money they get from that extra, extra land that they grab. That's why yeah. that Moldova doesn't have a seaport. My school is so My school got like to this year. Okay, so it's gonna be the top, right? The top minus the bottom. So I have here, so it's gonna rotate this way, right? Rotate this way, but I'm also gonna ro rotate this. So this is going to go like this. So I'm only going to get like a really small thin donut here. So the top, which was this, so it's going to be pi from 1 to 2 of my function 3 minus x squared minus the inside, which is uh, 
2 over x squared dx. Yeah? Okay, let's go through and do some distribution on this now. So before I can do my integration, I want to I want to distribute. So it's going to be pi integration from 1 to 2. This is going to give me 9 minus 6x plus x squared minus 4 over x squared dx. I just expanded the binomial. All right, let's see what we got here. So I'm going to end up integrating pi bracket 9x minus, it's going to be an x squared now, right? So what number goes out front? Oh, my goodness, excuse me. Hey, hey Nicole, can you pay attention for a little bit? Okay, yeah, put the phone away. I need you to actually help him with this. So what number are we going to get out front? You don't know? Because this goes to x squared, right? It would be x squared over 2, wouldn't it? So what number is this going to be? It's going to be a 3. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you. All right, so now the next one's going to be plus x cubed over 3. And this is going to turn into a... 4x to the negative 2, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So what I, what I, I put it up to the top because I'm always going to add one, right? I'm adding one. So that would be so plus 4 over x, right? Because it changes sign there. And that's going to be from 1 to 2. Yes? All right, let's go ahead and start plugging stuff in. So it's going to be pi top minus bottom. So it's going to be 18 minus 12 plus 8 over 3 plus 2 minus the lower bound, which is 9 minus 3 plus 1 third plus 4. I want you guys to math that for me. Seven over three? Two seven? Seven over three? I'm hoping for some other people there. What did you say it was? Anyone else? Anyone else? Yeah. I'm hoping 
someone else will chime in on this. Yeah. Yeah. Are you at Star Wars Episode You are correct. Wait, I'm right? Yep. Oh shit. No <laughs> way, I didn't expect that. Somebody can laugh. I can laugh? I was sweating. Wow. It's coffee. I think it is. Did you distribute the negatives? Okay. Okay, so I am going to leave you guys off with that, and then we'll pick up the rest on Monday.